In this session, we will show a number of concepts related to integrated analysis, sharing, dashboards, and messaging. We will start by showing you how to move seamlessly between pivot tables, charts, and maps, as these tools are all linked together within DHIS2. We will then show you how to share favorites and write interpretations to communicate and share these items with different users. Next, we will show you how to create a dashboard, add items to this dashboard, and then share this dashboard with other users. We will also show you how to write messages and feedback within DHIS2 and see how this feedback can be administered by those users who are tasked with managing the system. Let's go ahead and get started with the session. To get started with the session, we're going to go to the Pivot Table application. Let's just quickly make a pivot table. We're going to go through the same selection process as we've been reviewing in other sessions. With our inputs decided, let's check on our layout. We'll just add the organization units to this particular output. And we'll remove the periods as we've only selected one period. Let's go ahead and update the table. We have now created a very simple pivot table. We can seamlessly move between the pivot tables, charts, and mapping applications. For example, if I wanted to create this table as a map, I can click on map and say open this table as map. This will actually open this pivot table as a map in the GIS application. It uses the same inputs that we've selected previously. This includes the data element, the period, and organization units that we selected as our data dimensions in the pivot table application. We can also open this map as a chart. So if I click on charts and then open this map as a chart, You can see that this map now opens as a chart. Now this is true between all applications. So you can see if I click on table, I can also open this chart as a table. 